morning, Krabby Bill here. Me and Wes. Out and about, Krabby's Mountain Spot. Heading to Home Depot. Need a door for the bathroom. Gotta have a little privacy. Yep. Uh, really nothing planned today, just hanging out at camp. We have a uh, party at another camp to go to. We'll be heading there about four o'clock or so. So, gonna do some running around. Gonna see if we can stop at the uh, pet store, see about some more fish for the pond. At this point here, just driving on these crazy mountain roads. Check back. All right, Wes, what do we got there? So we went and got some plecas. These are the algae eaters, and they eat all the garbage in the bottom of the water. How many's in there? Got two of them. How big will they get? Uh, like the, like 12, 12 inches or so. So it might take a little bit, but they'll get that big. I guess they're in for a rude awakening, aren't they? Yeah, I'm gonna feel this water. No more 70 degree water. For you, yeah. <laughs> Crying out loud. Yeah, I guess I could just cut this and re-slice it back together. And <laughs> so it's going to take me an hour to open the bag. Yeah, I didn't realize it would be that <laughs> difficult to open up the bags. In the meantime, let's look for fish down in there. We've got a bunch of goldfish hey, swimming there. You can see how clear the water is getting. Oh, he's ready. I'm ready. All right. So how are you going to do this? Gently put a cold water in here to see them use Let them get to uh, film you through the cattails here. Look at him shivering. Like, oh, yo! Shrinkage! <laughs> Here they go. Welcome to your new home. Eat up. Krabby's Pond. Eat them leaves, all right? All right, there's the snails. We Time for the snails. Things. What kind of snails are they? I don't know what they got. I don't, I don't think they got a, a name on them. Wait, five. All right, so I'll, while he's doing that, I'll tell the story about the girl and the Petco. <laughs> the girl was into Petco, so I said, when we're buying the plecas, how do we know, you know, will they mate? And she says, well, they should. I'm like, well, how do you know if they're male or female? And she says, we don't sex them. So I said, all right, so should I just go over and, like, put a little Barry White on and play that next to the pond and see what happens? <laughs> she didn't know what to say. <laughs> You're not used to people actually talking that way. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you had to be there. <laughs> yeah, I guess you had to be there. Right on, oh, these rubber bands are good. Uh, well, she said that. I'm going to put rubber bands on it. That guy doesn't look like he'd be able to take them off. <laughs> he don't look, like, don't he don't right look like he'd know how to take the rubber bands off that Where's bag. Going? Poke a hole in it. Are we saving the bags? You're going to take them home yeah, to Susan? Them home. What are you using? Uh, Sue, I brought you some oh, bags wait. home. Should I put them on top of the... That's yeah. fine. Whatever, whatever you think. You're the one that did all the research. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pat yourself on the back while you're there, too. Why don't you? <laughs> I know. After this, we'll go inside. I'll give you a cabin update. The sheetrock's all up. There we go. One there. Oh, that's my finger. So we need something that's going to start eating the debris on the bottom of the pond. All these leaves that are in there. I scooped a bunch out this morning. But uh, I'll never be able to keep up with them. But that's it. Six snails. They're in there. Yep. Hopefully Let's they'll see. start eating. Two big plecas. Not sure if they're male or female or what they are. Or where they went. Or where they went. They're in there somewhere. The one little fountain's starting to go. We got to push that other fountain out into the, into the sun. We got another one over there that's uh, not in the sun yet and one that's not working at all. But you could see way out there now into the water. You could see down a couple of feet, see the goldfish down there on the bottom. I guess as the water warms up, they'll start coming up to the surface. You're starting to see them here. 
This is the clearest the pond's been in months. Now you can see goldfish in here. Oh, darting away as soon as we walked over. As soon as our shadows hit the water. So we'll check back in a few minutes. We'll take you inside, give you an update on the cabin. And then uh, I'm going to play around with my hunting stuff, try to sight my bow in. Check back. Okay, here we go for our weekly update. The sheetrock is up. The spackling has begun. Big news. Here we go. We got big things working here. Big things working. How about this? Working. Shower. Almost done there. And we've got the bathroom vanity and countertop. Electric box still working on it. Heater. I have to order a, another thermostat. Forgot to get a thermostat for this heater here. But water's in, filter's in. I just bought some replacement uh, cartridges for that. Bedrooms are looking good. Heaters are in place. Heaters are working. Uh, I turned the one heater on last night and uh, uh, heated up quick. So, got the high hats in. In the living room, we'll have a uh, ceiling fan going there. A uh, smoke detectors, ceiling fan going there with a couple of drop down lights. But let me uh, come up this ladder, show you the up and the what we got so far for the lofts. Heat's in place, enough room probably for two. Two beds up here. We get enough people to be able to put them up there. I don't know what I'm going to do with that space yet, but uh, looking across, put a little table up there with a lamp. That's it for the update so far. Guys from Bars Construction still killing it. Chris the plumber. Things are going good. And then there's, well, it's Wes. Cue the go, 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 go. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wes, the guy couldn't figure out how to take a rubber band off the plastic bag. Well, we just put up a hummingbird feeder. We've been seeing tons of hummingbirds. So we put the, put the hummingbird feeder up there. And uh, the thing he just Googled says not to put the red dye in there. But we had already bought that. So uh, looks like we'll use the red dye until it's gone. Yeah. And then we'll buy the clear stuff. But... Getting ready to dig my hunting stuff out, sight my bow in. And the only other project we have is to cut branches behind the uh, trailer. Because they're getting in the way to bump outs. We'll check back. It's, uh, it's almost 12 o'clock, you know what that means. Miller time. Fifteen more minutes and you can have a drink. You worked off the eggs, bacon, and bagel. You just got to go for the sausage now. Got to work off the sausage. I got my hunting stuff out and uh, sprayed everything down with uh, Sawyer's bug spray. I sprayed it until the nozzle broke. I need another spray bottle. But I think I have one that's almost empty. Uh, inside so I'll go grab that in a minute but I'm going to load most of this stuff into my truck I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to need but I'm probably just going to take the lightweight stuff take my pack and the lighter jacket and harness and stuff leave the real heavy clothes here um, I don't think it's going to necessary to have them Maybe by uh, 
into November I'll need these heavier things, but I'm just going to leave them here for now. Let them sit out here in the sun and dry, and then uh, I'll be good. Looking forward to sitting my butt in that tree stand. I just haven't shot it since this time last year. Practice makes perfect. I just want to make sure it's sighted out. Nice, nice, baby. Ding, 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 ding. Let me know when you're ready. I'll set the, the crossbow up for you. I just want to see what this is like. You can shoot this too. Your arms are around as long as mine. Shouldn't be too much of an issue for you. I didn't see that one. Huh? I think it's up left to the a little left to the it's Slightly left of center. Or yeah. right of center. Yeah. I think, the one. I think so. Shoot him in threes. See what happens. Go down. Pull them out. Shoot them again. See if we go to the same spots. Then I know it's me. And you adjust bits of it. Nice. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to say nothing. You know. It's hard to tell. I have to deal with it. I don't want you whining like you did about breakfast. So. <laughs> Trip hazard. I'm not done yet. Trip hazard. Jeez Louise. Watch that rock right there. I tripped over something. Whoa, look at all those food. I know. <laughs> Nothing like walking through a giant pile of bear poop. To get to your uh, arrows. Put them on there, and put your foot down in there, pull back, so you hear it click. You hear it click, mm -hmm. like click, click. Mm -hmm. and safety's on there. That's the safety clicking. And you put it on. And put the arrow on. One, white, down. All right. Push it all the way in there. Don't put your arm, do it this way. All right? Make sure your foot, don't put your thumb up. Put it here, put it here, put it here. Don't raise your thumb. Yep. Come over here. Stand over there. Good. It's closer to the, like, so I get you on camera there. There you go. You're good. Thumb down, good grip. Look at the top line, line that up with the center of the bag. All right? 
okay? Using your shooting finger, release the safety, forward, okay, down, finger on the trigger when you're ready to shoot. Dead center to back. Think she's hard. Yeah, right. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing here? Huh? Oh. Huh? What happened? Nothing. Didn't you have this problem last year too that we had to discuss? Huh? How can you blame me when you handed you went in and got the beer and handed it to me? You shook it somehow. I know it. Set me up. It's because you're still shaking from shooting a bow and arrow. <laughs> Look at all them fish down here. Yeah, there's lots of them. I didn't realize how much there was in there. Well, that'll try later. Well, it's nice. Uh, Wes, well, then, then again, it was Wes, <laughs> claimed that he saw one of the shiners uh, in there. They're, they were pretty big when I put them in there. They were probably five, six inches last year great, when I dropped it in there. And they've, they've been in there over a year. Uh, all these leaves falling in there. This is going to be a twice a day dragging them out. Right. I'll also let you know that we went to Home Depot to get a door for the bathroom. <laughs> Somebody forgot to measure the door. Who? Somebody. <laughs> the, beer, the beer did it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're not blaming me for everything. <laughs> well, it's your fault. <laughs> we'll check back. I just was shooting the bow as you saw and uh, it's in pretty good shape. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to take a couple shots with the crossbow in a little bit but uh, here's a couple of trail cam photos that we had uh, from the week. Uh, bear, deer, turkey, squirrel, fox, possum. No, not a possum. Raccoon. So check them out. You can trust me, West. None of this is going to be on a video. <laughs> nah, really. Uh -huh. I don't because I don't think it would make for good video. <laughs> you want another bottle of water? I'm good. Try to hydrate. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just tired. Oh, that's what it is. It's tired. <laughs>